Hey guys, we are on, we're live. We are back at Play It Forward with Alistair Cummings and John Hickman, two filmmakers hailing out of Newcastle, writer and director team. Guys, thank you so much for joining us again. Uh, we're gonna get it right this time and um, go forth and conquer. Uh, you guys were Play It Forward, nominated by filmmaker Mark Blackman for your short film, Akina. It's a great, cute, sensitive uh, film, very, very well made technically. And uh, we are going to be really uh, focusing on three questions. So uh, here they come at you now. Ready? Okay, let's do it. All right, let's do it. Um, so the first question is passion. You guys had a vision and you went after it. What was the motivating passion behind this project for you? That's quite difficult. Um, I guess it was that we're kind of we're talking about what the next project would be, and from a previous film where we'd kind of met this actor and his dog, um, we kind of saw something in that relationship, and we wanted to kind of show that to people, because I guess no one has really seen that relationship in that kind of environment. Um, and then it kind of snowballed from there with, with with the film, yeah. Cool. So, what was that? What was that in the relationship? What did you guys see there that was like, this is beautiful, and we need to represent this and make a work of art around it? Um, I, I think for me, it was just that sort of like genuine love, wasn't it? Sort of, you know, we we were shooting another film and. Um, we, we had a, there was a scene with a dog in it and um, sort of we, we got this dog along and the, and the owner and just sort of watching them and seeing, you know, how much this guy loved his dog. And we, we I think we saw that and we thought, you know, if we, if we could capture some of that on screen, we'd, you know, we'd be onto something quite, quite nice and quite, you know, something I think a lot of people would sort of uh, be able to relate to and, and sort of get something from. Yeah, it was more like uh, kind of like a human relationship. Well, it was more interesting than some human relationships. <laughs> and um, it was just kind of like, uh, I don't have a dog myself, so to kind of see that, it was kind of like fascinating because they weren't necessarily in the shots in the previous film. No. So I was kind of just watching them in the background, kind of interacting and stuff. And I was like, well, that's really interesting, even though I should have been focusing on what I was doing <laughs> at the time. I just thought that was like, you know, something yeah. quite I mean, and what, what is it unique? I mean, you know, if I had to guess, it's like, you know, just the purity of the relationship. Was that what you guys found? Was that what you were going after? You know, reading your director's statement, it was pretty, pretty uh, conceptually, you know, I don't want to say lofty, but really deep. I mean, you guys are going after like loneliness in, in this modern world. So um, what, you know, I really kind of leading into the next question is making the film. And what what did you learn, and and how did you change as people making this film? Um, how do you, how do we change? <laughs> um, did you change? And I, I mean, I suppose sort of one of the things that that comes to my mind in terms of making the film is that um, uh, you know, quite often when you're making something, you sort of lots of things go wrong. You you sort of prepared for sort of lots of things to sort of to 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 not work but i think there was something about the film and it just sort of worked didn't it and it mm -hmm. was just such a um you know i haven't made anything where everything sort of all fallen into place so well and i just think because we had that sort of that real genuine authentic relationship at the heart of it it just sort of it just sort of worked and um so I think what I learned was that, you know, sometimes things can go well, sometimes things can go right, and um, it doesn't, it, it's not always disastrous, but, you know, so I think it was, um, yeah, so it's just a really positive sort of filmmaking experiences, um, and I think that comes through in the film as well. Mm -hmm. um, so the vision that you had really came, like, just got, it was one of those great pictures where you actually made it without a lot of stress, and it was pretty yeah. seamless. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. No, I mean that doesn't happen. That's not happened before. No, that's never happened before. <laughs> and, that's uh, ridiculous. So it's quite a unique. Uh, it's quite unique in that. In that and we didn't have to kind of like change the vision in post production or anything. Wow. Um, it's just exactly how we're kind of 
stout. It, that's that's what it ended up being. So, but in fact, I would I would go further and I'd say it was it was better than I think we sort yeah. of expected. Mm -hmm. um, so it's sort of like it, it feels to me very much sort of a lot more than the sum of its parts. I, I would say. Mm -hmm. um, As a viewer now, you know, looking back on it, does it? How does it speak to you? Um, for me, it's kind of. It, it does ask the questions that I think we're set out to ask with the film. So it's kind of about like, now we've got people in like, uh, coming up to like the thirties or whatever, like my age. And I was reading somewhere that like the biggest fear is uh, like being alone and not finding love. And then the really? second fear is like, you know, not owning a house, not having a good enough job. And I guess the film app like uh, looks at all these different things. So in the film he's, you know, he's got a, job he's not particularly happy with, he doesn't appear to be in a relationship with anyone, and he feels quite alone in the world, and then everything changes for a short amount of time, and the question I think is kind of like, you know, what makes you happy and what's important and all this kind of thing, so. Yeah, and I think for me as well, so sort of, sort of watching it now and sort of like saying having a bit of distance from it and, and being able to reflect, and I think for me, what I take from it is that even though, you know, life can, can be going badly for you or, or for somebody, you know, there are still these little moments that are sort of, that are enough to sort of, to keep you going. So he has this little moment, he finds this sort of companionship with this, with this dog. And even though it is just for a few hours or what, whatever, and um, without wanting to spoil the film, um, it's enough to keep him going. It's enough to, to sort of, um, to, to, yeah to just to sort of to get him to get him moving moving back on with his life i think so um i think that's quite a nice sort of well that's that's really cool and i'm i'm curious you know watching the film you know i've i've got my own impression of what it is that film is saying about happiness and and what's really truly important in this life and um you know that's really brave for you guys to tackle that subject and put it out there and i guess you know what is it that what is it watching the film what do you think the film says about that what is important what is valuable is it you know is it like you said being finding a partner getting a house having a job or is it something else i don't know i think it's a, it's a bit of both really i mean i think you need to be kind of you know in the film i think he becomes more comfortable with himself which makes him a lot happier. Um, but at the same time, I don't, I don't want to spoil what happens in the film, but he is kind of like potentially still st stuck in the same loop. And I think like a lot of people find it very hard to get out of. Mm. Um, Cause like in modern life, you're tied in with like money and things and rent and all this kind of stuff. And people find it very hard to just change and do stuff that makes them quite happy. Um, and I think it's, it, there is definitely something about sort of companionship and um, sort of finding that wherever you can. And, um, you know, I, I would say that is, is, that's, you know, relationships, the sort of friendships we make and then the people we meet. I would say that's probably, um, you know, one of the most important things in life. Um, and he finds it in a sort of un, an unlikely place um, when he sort of, needs it in a way it's almost like you know they, they sort of need each other and um yeah they sort of find each other when they sort of need each other the most i think and so i think there's something quite optimistic in that that maybe when you are at your lowest point or whatever that you know there's always hope there's always you never know what's going to be around the corner you know yeah well i think that's great guys i think um that's you know right on and uh exactly uh, it's a great message and I think it's true you know it's a true message that um, people are always needing to be reminded of uh, because life can be very challenging at times and just going through it and continuing through those tough times and getting to the big openings in life that are in store for all of us is is part of the magic of this journey so um, thank you guys for uh, you know helping people see that light um, you know, before we wrap, on a technical note, working on this project, um, is there any like wisdom, any great experiences, any great learning tips, tricks that you found that you can pass on to our filmmaker audiences to help them in their next projects? Um, 
I guess to me it's kind of um, not technical so much, but kind of if you want to make your vision, you need to kind of use what you've got available at the time. Otherwise, you're going to be disappointed with the end results. And I also think what we've learned on this is like plan everything as much as you can over and over and over again, rather than just rushing into someone uh, to, to something and have some like patience as well. Because previously, I just wanted to make a film, so I'd rush into things. Whereas this, we took, even though it's a very simple film, we spent months planning every shot, every location, costume, car, all that kind of thing. Um, and it made the shoot with yeah. no stress at all compared to previous films where it's kind of been like high stress because we haven't potentially haven't practiced or whatever. That's so you great. can't practice in pre-production, I guess. Yeah. And I would say sort of, um, I think what, we do, and I think something that we sort of practice is, although I'll say we sort of we did we did spend a lot of time sort of preparing for Akita, but generally we will just get out there and make something. Yeah. And I think that is sort of our ethos to make things to get better, to sort of not be afraid to to get it wrong and make mistakes and sort of learn from those and, and sort of keep, you know, keep keep progressing and keep getting forward. And I think, you know, in terms of our own work, you know, we have made mistakes, but I think that you know, I'm seeing definitely a very sort of marked improvement. You know, every time we do something, we, we certainly aim to do it better than what we've done before. And um, I, I just think you sort of, yeah, just having a bit of, you know, fearlessness mm -hmm. can, can take you, you know, quite, quite away, I think. That's great. That's awesome, guys. That's great advice. And I know you're working on a project now. Mm. It's your first feature? Yeah. Yeah, first feature, which is just completed yeah. this month. That's awesome. Congratulations, guys. That's a huge accomplishment. Yeah. So that, that's been like a year and a half slowly making that. Yeah. But at the same time, we've made Akita and other things. Yeah. So we've got a lot of projects all at the same time. Um, awesome. Trying to do everything we can, really. And is there anything we should know? Like, where can we see it? What do we need to do to support it? Anything like that? Uh, at the moment, I'm just selling it to kind of festivals privately because um, yeah. it's literally just finished. Cool. And then we'll we do more of a public uh, thing, so we have taken our time planning it and that kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. So maybe good to come and talk to you again when we sort of like ready to ready mm -hmm. to go with it. You know that might absolutely. Be it. Definitely, guys. Keep me posted. Keep us posted. We'll keep you posted. And um, that's it, guys. It's a wrap. Thank you so much for joining us. It was great uh, advice for our audience. Um, Akita, John Hickman, Alistair Cummings writer-director team hailing from Newcastle. Guys, thank you so much. Yes, thank thanks. you. Thanks very much. Thank See you, guys. You. All right, till next time. Peace on Play Bye. Forward. Bye.